Okay, so you want me to show you how to vlog like Casey Neistat? I'll show you one time, only once. But promise me, don't be a ripoff artist. I'm already doing this, or well, saying it. Sounds like a copycat, doesn't it? Disclaimer, this video focuses on how Casey Neistat makes his vlogs. It's not my intellectual ideas. It's basically an analysation of his work and some remakes. So, hashtag all credit to Casey. The links are down in the description where you can find all of his stuff. First things first, if you want to vlog like Casey Neistat, you have to think like Casey Neistat. So here are some mindsets and quotes of Casey Neistat. Man, I'm saying Casey Neistat quite often, aren't I? <laughs> Free time is the enemy of progress. Don't waste life. Find out what you love and hustle. It's all about the story. If you're doing it the same as somebody else is already doing, then you're already doing it wrong. And I'll come back to that one at the end of the video. Risk. Take opportunity, don't play it safe. And this is probably why I'm doing this video, because a lot of people could get me wrong here, especially with my cheap Casey imitation with the original Ray-Ban sunglasses thing. So. Go hey, go hey. Work more, do more. So let's get started. Now I know a lot of you want to know what camera gear Casey uses. And if you would ask Casey, he would put it this way. It's all about the story. Don't care about the camera. But anyway, I know you guys and I just want to tell you what he uses or what he used to use. Because this is the Canon 70D, which he used for quite a lot of his vlogs until he broke it. He basically threw an axe for it because he'd gone crazy on this error message. And he sticks to the Canon brand because he has a wide collection of Canon lenses. So often he uses a wide angle lens, something like this, 10 to 18 millimeters Canon lens. For audio, he uses a Rode VideoMic Pro, which I'm using for this video as well. And to get the better view ang viewing angle for the viewers, he uses this Joby Gorillapod. It's basically something like a selfie stick, holds it like this, has a camera mounted on the top, and then it just gives this more comfortable view for the viewers. When he's out and about and can't take all of this camera gear, he uses a compact camera from Canon called the Canon G7X, which is a popular vlogging camera. I've had it as well and tried it out. It's a great camera. For time lapses, he uses the iPhone 6. He says it's basically the best one to use it for, and I can understand it because it doesn't have any restrictions. It films for longer than 30 minutes, the DSLR would stop at 30 minutes, and for time lapses, that's the way to go. Okay, so talking about time lapses, let's check out what kind of film techniques Casey uses. this time lapse thing because Casey uses it in every one of his vlogs. I'll show you how he puts his title on his time lapses. He puts down town and date, makes it as big as possible, I'll put Bournemouth because I'm here at the moment, then put everything in capital letters by the way. Now on the second one, he also puts his name and the vlog number and again max it out and then you're finished. So peeps, we also forgot that Casey always makes some kind of small opening scene before the time lapse. I think he does this just to grab the attention of the viewer 
So they think, what the hell's going on there? Then the time lapse begins and they get into the flow. So let's try out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. So now the vlog has begun. Casey often starts up his vlog by finding somewhere to put his well, camera down on. So I'm using this post box and then he basically zooms in and then has some kind of subject to talk about. So you guys get really close into what he's trying to say. The frame is basically only over his face and now we can talk about something important or whatever thing is on his mind. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Do you get what I mean? So you're actually listening a bit better because it's so focused in. Now it's all about the story. Casey basically finds a fraction of his day where there's a story to tell and then he just takes that and vlogs about it. Talking about his day, let's talk about his day, yeah. <laughs> There is already a video called Fat and Lazy by Casey where he does this, so go check it out, it's in the description. To sum it up quick, he gets up at 7am in the morning, exercises for 3 hours, goes to work for 10 hours, then he spends 3 hours with his family, 3 hours on the blog, and 5 or maybe only 4 hours of sleep as he sneaks out another hour for emails. So while Casey makes his vlogs, he often has these kind of patterns. So on a Tuesday, he's got a Q&A day, and every other day, because he gets so much mail, he has something called mail time, where he basically and smashes up all kind of boxing, and he makes like the craziest unboxings ever. Check it out. Links are as always in the description. And uh, that's basically how it is. So. What he uses for transport is often bike or skateboards and I've got some scenes that are going to be about that now and also obviously his running scene what he often also puts after his time lapses because he's a person that does a lot of exercise. So yeah, check it out. Okay guys, so this is how he sets out, basically puts a smartphone there on a small kind of tripod or something else, press record, runs the thing, then comes back and does the same thing with loads of different scenes. So let's do a couple more. So that was another one, how he would do it, basically. It's very simple, you just set up the camera and then just rerun that thing and that's it basically. So I'll just give you some normal different kind of shots. The most important thing here is just to get a good composition. So find something interesting, something like when you run from left to right or the other side or if you just do a center shot what we had in the film techniques and well, just be creative basically.
enjoyed this video and as I said in the beginning if you're doing it the same as somebody else is already doing then you're already doing it wrong and don't get me wrong here it's great to be inspired and it's important but if you want to stand out then <laughs> Casey if you get to see this video I just want to say thank you for all your inspiration and your videos. I have such big respect for your stuff and what you do, it's amazing. And yeah, it would be awesome to meet you up sometime. So I would say keep up being an awesome dad for your kids and I'm going to sign out. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Okay guys, so I've got to set up a fish, fish eye again. Oh, pretty tight. Bravo, Master. Yeah. Oh.